Hello my dear friends, uh, today I am going to start the rest of the lesson, lesson number 9 of grade 11 mathematics uh, and I, already I did the, the first part of this lesson on my previous video and uh, this is about compound interest, okay, this is about compound interest. On my previous video I discussed about the simple interest uh, and this part, the 9.2 part is compound interest okay uh, if you can uh, it is uh, convenient for you uh, let's take your books okay uh, page number seven of uh, part two maths book page number seven compound interest okay compound is now uh, we are going to talk about this compound interest and uh, at first I would like to explain uh, the difference between simple and compound interest okay at the beginning, I would like to explain the method of calculating simple interest and the difference of calculating compound interest. Okay, uh, now, uh, assume uh, if you have 10,000 rupees and you have to uh, deposit it on some bank. Okay, and you are using here simple interest method. If you use simple interest method, uh, consider your capital capital money is ten thousand. Okay, ten thousand. This is your capital. Okay, and the simple interest rate. Okay, simple annual interest rate of that uh, certain bank uh, is ten percent. Okay, ten percent. Okay, uh, this is. Uh, little bit uh, the high, high rate but uh, this is uh, not the actual rate and uh, 10 percent okay and uh, if you uh, need to deposit uh, this 10,000 uh, for two years okay? for two years with the interest of 10 percent okay in here there are very easy method to calculate interest I think uh, you can understand this one uh, if you forget the method it is very simple method you can check my first uh, video and this one uh, consider in here first year first year and second year okay you have deposited this, this 10,000 with 10% interest 10% simple interest for two years okay uh, how would you ca calculate the interest for the first year? You have to use this method. You have to add the capital 10,000 into 10 out of 100. Okay. Then by this method, you can find the interest for the first year and then you can add that interest part to the capital and you can find the total amount which you can uh, take after first year okay then but uh, what for the second year the same thing okay same thing same thing means for the second year also you have to multiply capital with its interest okay by this one you can find the interest only interest interest for the second year and then you have to add that one into the capital okay in here the thing is whether it is first year or second year or third year capital okay the capital is the same okay capital is same in here that means uh, after two years two years you can uh, get okay you will get after two years uh, two times two times of the interest for one year two times of the interest as one year okay that means if you now you can get uh, 100 into 10 means 1000, okay? 1000 is the interest for the first year. Then 
second year also the interest is thousand. If there is a third year, if you deposit that one in uh, for third uh, uh, three years, then the same interest you will get after every year. Okay, the same interest you will get after every year. Why? The thing is capital capital amount of money is not change okay then the interest rate is stable and capital amount of money is not change therefore you will get same interest for every year okay same interest for each year whether it is for a five year okay it doesn't make any change okay it doesn't make any difference okay then what is the different in here compound interest okay the same we can uh, we can take the same example in here okay capital is 10000 and interest is 10% okay if you deposit if you deposit your 10000 in certain bank with the interest rate of 10% for 2 years but not with the simple interest the interest method is compound interest method okay now what is the difference of that part in here okay in here what is the now uh, let's find the interest for the first year okay first year and second year okay First year and second year. What is the interest for the first year? 10,000 into 10 out of 100. That means 1,000. Okay. This is the interest for the first year. Then, what will happen on the second year? Okay. On the second year, the capital will change okay why this now uh, let's uh, refine the total amount after first year okay now this is the interest okay this is the interest and what is the total amount that you can earn after uh, first year capital is 10,000 plus this interest okay then 11,000 okay this is the total amount that you can earn after first year. Okay. Capital with interest. Okay. Then what happened in the second year? Okay. Second year capital will 11,000. Okay. Second year capital will 11,000. Then what happened? Second year interest will calculate for the 11,000 not for 10,000 okay second year capital will calculate for 11,000 not for 10,000 okay that means in second year your interest okay your interest we can calculate the interest capital is 11,000 why after first year this is the total amount of you just the, your total amount after first year is 11,000 therefore that one is used to as capital in second year then 11,000 into 10 out of 100 and then 1,100 is the interest this is the this is the amount of interest okay interest amount after second year then what could be the what will be the total amount after second year total amount then what is the capital at the start of the second year what is the capital 11,000 11,000 is the capital when starting second year then 11,000 plus 1,000 100 and then 12,100 
12,100 is the total amount that you can get after two years with the compound interest method. Okay, now uh, we can go to the example number two on page number nine. Now, and uh, by my previous explanation, you, uh, you'll understand uh, the most profitable method when we deposit uh, some money, some certain money, is the most profitable method is compound interest method than annual uh, normal simple interest method. Okay. Uh, now, uh, there is some little example in here, example number two on page number nine. Invest, uh, that means the same capital, 50,000, for three years, the interest rate is 6%. And uh, Amal using compound interest method to uh, for his uh, deposit and Nimal use simpler interest method. And uh, the question asks what what are the amounts that uh, Amal and Nimal received after three years? Okay. Now, first, when you face in some question like this, first order all data that you got on your book okay and and uh, then after now i'll erase this thing okay amal using compound interest method okay amal using compound interest method and what is the capital in here fifty thousand. therefore uh, what could be the total amount that amal can earn after his first year okay. Amal this is for the this calculation for Amal after first year first year uh, total amount okay total amount fifty thousand into six percent no? 6% mean we can use this <coughs> we can use this method to find interest only we can use this method to get interest only at first time and then you have to add that interest into the capital but we can use this method 6% uh, the Interest uh, is 6% means someone can get, so if someone deposit 100 rupees, then he will get after his first year 106 rupees. Okay. 6% interest means if someone deposit 100 rupees at the beginning of the year, then after first year, he will get 106 rupees as his total amount okay therefore we can use this uh, that method in here it is uh, easy okay otherwise uh, we have to use uh, two steps okay uh, at first we have to find the interest only by using this method and we have to add that interest into the capital okay therefore we can uh, use the both at once by using this method 106. This is after first year. Okay. Now, then 500 into 106. Okay. Then uh, we get 53,000. Okay. This 53,000 is the total amount that Amal can get after his first year. Okay. Then if, uh, is there any difference with Nimal after first year? No. Why? After first year, Nimal. Okay. This is a uh, compound interest method. This is uh, simple interest. But after first year, there is no difference between Amal and Nimal. Okay. After first year, same. Right. 
the interest rate is same and the capital is same that is the main point that is the main point after first year when you calculating interest uh, after first year whether the method is compound or simple the total amount is same why capital is same same capital in here therefore nimal after first year 50000 into 100 and right? 100 out 6 out of 100 is 53000 okay see now what happen after the second year okay the before that uh let's uh, get the only interest from here by using this one okay 500 is 500 into 6 3000 this 3000 is the interest only interest interest after first year okay only interest after first year because the capital is 50000 and this 3000 is interest okay now when using simple interest for Three years, the interest is same on every year. Okay, interest is same on every year. Why? The reason is capital is same on every year. That is the reason. Capital is same on every year. Therefore, interest is same on every year. Therefore, on each year, Nimal will get. Three thousand as his interest. Therefore, what could be the a total interest amount? Total interest amount after three years, if three thousand for one year, then nine thousand for three years. Okay, that is very easy, very simple thing. Therefore, three years. Three thousand into three, nine thousand. This nine thousand is the total interest amount. Total amount of interest, okay? Not the total amount. This is the interest amount. Okay. Therefore, uh, Nimal will get after three years, okay, as his total fifty nine thousand. Okay, all right. Fifty thousand is the capital, and nine thousand is the interest, and we can add both the values, and we'll get fifty nine thousand. Okay, that is uh, the calculation part for the ma. It is very simple. Okay, fifty nine thousand. Okay, now I think you can understand, and we can calculate. These things for Amma now. Okay, now this is for the first year. Okay, for the second year, second year capital will change. Capital will change to fifty three thousand. Why? The first year at the beginning of the first year fifty thousand is the capital, and at the beginning of the second year fifty three thousand is the capital. Therefore, after Second year, fifty-three thousand into hundred and six out of hundred, and it's fifty-six thousand hundred and eighty. Fifty-six thousand hundred and eighty. After second year, the total amount. Okay, this is the total amount. This is the total amount after second year. Then, what happened when is when at the beginning of the third year, this one will be the capital. Okay, now capital will change from fifty thousand to fifty six thousand hundred and eight. Okay, now for the third year, 
Okay. Now we can get the total amount uh, at once by using this method. After third year, after third year, the total amount. Okay. Total amount is fifty-three thousand hundred and eighty into hundred and six out of hundred. Then it will fifty-nine thousand five hundred and fifty. Fifty-nine thousand five hundred and fifty. Then what is the difference? Okay, Nimal. This is Amal and Nimal will get only 59,000 and Amal will get 59,550. Therefore, Amal will get more 550 rupees than Nimal. Okay, therefore, now I think you can understand when we deposit our money in uh, some bank it's the uh, compound interest method is the most profitable profitable method than simple interest method uh, if you uh, borrow a loan uh, borrow a loan uh, with the compound compound interest method uh, the company will calculate your loan interest with the same method. Therefore, when you borrow a loan from some certain institute or bank, it is the the most profitable method is simple interest method. When you borrow, borrow a loan, okay. If you deposit some amount of money, then this compound interest method is the most profitable method. Okay. Now, uh, I think uh, you can complete the exercise number. 9.2 okay and then uh, lesson is over and then uh, we can do the stock market lesson number nine stock market lesson on my next video okay thank you